One of the biggest boosts in treatment of acute stroke was the use of clot busters. Given within the proper window of opportunity, TPA drugs dissolve clots and minimize strokes. We've learned now over the years and with very good data that the golden hour, i.e. The, the timeline 60 minutes after the patient walks in through the door is the best timeline that we can give patients this, this clot buster medicines. Proven protocols allow the administration of clot busters for up to three hours, time being a valuable commodity. The impact of a stroke can be catastrophic. Studies show about one million nerve cells die every minute. That's why researchers are focused on new treatment options. One of the most cutting edge is to surgically remove the clot from the blood vessel. We thought of what else we can do that goes beyond the community standards to give our patients in the community the best quality care. Well, the answer is thrombolectomy. Also called clot retrieval may be an option for patients who are timing out on the clot busting drug, but still have brain to salvage. The delicate procedure is performed by an endovascular surgeon. Sometimes what he does is administers that TPA substance, a clot buster, while he is attempting to retrieve the clot. So this is state-of-the-art technique that really isn't available in a lot of places around the nation. The cutting-edge procedure is being established within the stroke unit at Gulf Coast Medical Center. The hospital had invested and bought and has now employed this new program with CT angiograms and perfusion studies, which we can accurately map out which area of brain has already died and which area of brain can die if we don't do anything about it. So when the right opportunity strikes, there may be more treatment options for more people. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.